you know you're ready to record your your big song you've you've you know all the components are there you've got the lyrics down you've got the guitars down you're ready to put it onto tape whether it's tape or digital um you know try and try and go a little bit old school about it um you know in in the old days people like me didn't have all this equipment we didn't have massive mixing desks we didn't have big EQ sections we didn't have a compressor on each channel uh, you know I mean they, they were lucky if there were three or four mics going in the studio um, unless you were at a at a really posh record label studio um, so you know people had to people had to learn about the source of the sound rather than you know the kind of oh we'll fix it in the mix kind of approach um, so you know, if, if 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 it's just you and a guitar, for example, I'd, I'd say if you can, maybe record the guitar separately and then put your vocal on top so you have separation. If you can't, you'll have to experiment with mic placement so that you have a certain amount of separation because if you're going to have to brighten up the guitar a lot, your vocal inevitably is going to be brightened up as well because it's leaking into that microphone so that might cause problems um, but coming back to the mic placement thing if 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 you're recording your guitar and you stick a mic right there and you think oh it's okay i'll just record it and then try to fix that <clears throat> later on you're going to run into problems because you're going to have to do a lot of repair eq uh, which you know will change the sound will change the structure of what you've recorded so why not spend a bit more time on moving that mic so you know maybe maybe if it's too bassy you move it move it a little bit more up the neck or a bit further away a little bit higher up spend a bit of time moving the mic around and listening you know just 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 drop your sequencer and record play a few chords move the mic keep a record of where you put the mic until you find that's it that's my guitar sound that's that's what I need and then then you're winning and then you'll find when you come to you know creating a mix of your song you just have to push up the fader and you have to hardly do anything you know just the sound is there that, that you did maybe, maybe a little bit of low frequency roll off because you know the bus the bus stop across the road just had a bus there when you press record dial that out Maybe a little bit of your bedroom sound is getting into it, you know, tweak that. But it's sort of minor corrective EQ rather than drastic, drastic sonic changes. And the same with the vocal. You know, if, if you have a mic here and you think, oh God, I sound really bassy. I don't want to be bassy. I want to be nice and open and airy. You know, just, just move it up a little bit. So it's, it's picking up from the nasal cavity rather than from the chest. Um, if you're having problems with plosives like P's and B's and T's. Um, try, try moving off the mic a little bit because you might have the tendency to be right up against this diaphragm, which is really thin, in order to translate all your pressure changes that you're creating. So, I mean, even even if you put your hand right in front of you and you just say P, you can hear it. There's a big blast of wind that just going to warp that diaphragm every time you do it. So it's going to go. Boom. You don't like that, so you can put a pop filter on it, which will help, but it's also going to reduce a certain sparkle. So why not move the mic a little bit further away? Um, stuff like that, little things like that will help you to, you know, keep those valuable EQ bands free for you to use creatively, rather than having to use them as a, as a, a rescue device. You know, because cause when, when an EQ is used properly, it, it can change things musically rather than sort of dealing with big problem areas, which is much nicer. <laughs>